Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, uh, I'm going to do a breakdown of the recent trailer that came out for the film Ad Astra, which is starring uh, Brad Pitt, Tommy Lee Jones, and Liv Tyler. Uh, so basically, this is kind of, it's one of those kind of space movies. If you've seen Interstellar, you know what kind of movie I'm talking about. It's kind of like a somewhat, re they try to be somewhat realistic in terms of uh, the aesthetic they give uh, space and certain things in it. Um, and basically, uh, Brad Pitt plays a character named Roy McBride, who they show in the trailer. He's basically, he works for aeronautics. Uh, it's He's working on something that looks like it's involving you know, the International Space Station or something to, to those effects. Um, again, this is semi-futuristic world, so basically... Uh, the first few parts of the trailer are really us kind of examining Brad Pitt, and there's a voiceover uh, by Brad Pitt and another uh, person who I don't know uh, which actor is actually doing that voiceover, but um, they're going back and forth, and they're basically talking about uh, Brad Pitt and his uh, as the character Roy McBride and his uh, career so far, and basically, basically it's all leading up to his father, who was played by Tommy Lee Jones. Now... The basically during the trailer, it, it again, I feel like it gives away some of the story, but it doesn't give away too much. I just don't think I think it gives away a lot for a first trailer, and I'll explain that in a minute. Is the fact that, um, you know, it, in relation to the story, um, but basically that voiceover is showing us images and stuff, and Brad Pitt doing certain things, and then it ends with this what looks like an explosion, uh, and uh, Brad Pitt gets thrown off of his. Uh, it, I don't know if it's in the International Space Station or if it's like a, a space elevator or something like that, but he's working on something that's in like low Earth altitude to the point where he's uh, kind of weightless and he's in a uh, a space suit. Uh, there's some form of a, of a they, they call it the surge in the trailer. Uh, where it's kind of like this space disaster that cripples most of the world uh, and then shorts out electronics, like a giant EMP or something like that. Um, but Brad Pitt is thrown from that giant uh, like space elevator thing, and he goes through the atmosphere, and I guess his parachute deploys or something like that, and he wakes up in a hospital bed, and then he finds out uh, exactly what happened and what people are calling it. Um, and Liv Tyler plays his wife, who uh, I don't believe they have her name on the... Uh, IMDB as of right now, uh, the character name, but she plays his wife, and uh, basically it's kind of like they show some scenes with her and him and stuff like that, so there's going to be a, like, kind of that connection thing going on with there, kind of like how Matthew McConaughey was connected with his daughter uh, in Interstellar in a way, um, obviously there was the time differential, but the... The thing is, is that after after we get into that, then we kind of get into what the meat of the plot is, which is this this thing happens, and the government thinks it has something to do with uh, Brad Pitt's father, again played by Tommy Lee Jones, uh, and they show some shots of him. Basically, he went on some kind of deep space exploration mission, and they lost track of him after uh, at the point of sixteen years. Uh, was was when they kind of they finally lost uh, connection with him and something happened and he was presumed dead. Um, now they're saying that oh no he was alive and he has something. There was basically some there's basically some kind of a plot MacGuffin uh, that goes into him doing some kind of scientific experiment and possibly causing what's happening to them right now. So again they give away uh, the base points of the plot um, and. I think it's a, it's not necessarily an amount that ruins the film, uh, but it is an amount that shows that uh, you can't really reveal too much more in subsequent trailers to the film. Uh, because if you do, I think you reveal uh, too much, especially about the plot. I don't think we should know too, too much. We should know just the basics, which is essentially what we know right now. Um, and again, this, this, this will probably have at least one more trailer that comes out. Um, it's coming out September 20th of this year. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's my only problem with this, is that subsequent trailers might give away too much, because I think this trailer has given away pretty much all of what you should give away uh, about this film. Now, uh, then they go into this other thing where, you know, getting back to the actual trailer, which is what I'm breaking down, um, after they explain this about Tommy Lee Jones, basically it leads to Brad Pitt now having to go on a mission to space in order to find his 
uh, father who they believe to be alive and figure out what's going on with Earth so he can save the planet. So it's basically a dumber version of Interstellar. That, that's all I can really think of at this point, just from what this trailer is telling me. Now, it might be different than that. They might weave some other things into there and make that plot a little more cohesive and we might know what's going on. But essentially, uh, they... Uh, what it seems like is it seems like it's dumb interstellar where there's no, they use a plot MacGuffin as opposed to, uh, some, you know, what interstellar had, which was, I think the, the planet was dying or there was something, there was something going on with the planet where like the planet was just dying and stuff was dying. Um, and they don't really go too, too much, uh, into it other than the fact that people kind of know that their time is limited. Um, and then you go off into the plot of Interstellar, which involves Matthew McConaughey and uh, Anne Hathaway and uh, the other people that are on the the the, sh the uh, ship that they're in, uh, going through this time, uh, going through this um, wormhole on the edge of Saturn, uh, and then you know finding a, a new world for people to be on. But this feels a bit more um, like they're taking Interstellar and they're kind of simplifying it in in some ways. Now it looks like there's going to be a lot more stuff involving, uh, you know, what's going on. It, this is going to be a bit more of a mystery as opposed to just kind of like a science fiction epic. And the, again, the only reason why I compare this to Interstellar because the the plot points are somewhat similar in terms of you know the the family oriented you know space type of thing. Uh, they're very similar in terms of the, the tonal in that aspect, uh, or at least it seems so. And the other thing is that it, it, the aesthetics look very similar. You know, the, the, the spacesuits and stuff like that is supposed to be somewhat semi-realistic. So, you know, it all, the, all those kind of aesthetics and the, the space stuff, it all looks very, very similar to that in uh, the way that they construct it. But... Uh, overall, the, I did again. I didn't think the trailer was bad. The only um, the only criticism that I do have of it uh, is that it gives away just the right amount that you don't know what's going on. But if you reveal any more, you might you have a very good chance of kind of spoiling this movie well before it comes out. Um, so that's the only thing I take away from it, and it's really not a takeaway from this trailer. It's a takeaway from what they might put in future trailers. Uh, so. Other than that, it looks kind of interesting. Um, I, again, I like the mystery aspect that they're trying to convey here. Uh, I like the space stuff. Again, Interstellar is one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's probably my favorite Christopher Nolan film, actually. But, um, you know, uh, it you know, moving forward, it's got me interested. So, you know what? You know, this might be a good uh, weekend watch sometime in September when, you know, I don't think there's any other movies coming out around the same time as this, or big ones anyway. Uh, so, you know, it's got me interested, which is good. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think it does good with the science fiction, at least from the aesthetic aspect. And Brad, you can't go wrong with Brad Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones. Um, but now that we're through with that, um, I'll link the trailer in the description uh, for anybody that would like to go see to watch it. Um, and I would like to uh, know your thoughts about it. You know, are you excited for this? Do you think it's kind of a cheapo ripoff of all the other stuff they've been doing lately with this realistic space stuff? Um, you know, or, uh, you know, are you excited at least for the actors, you know, Brad Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones? Um, you know, put all your thoughts in the comments. I like to read them. Uh, remember to hit the bell for notifications, hit the like button, uh, hit, make sure to subscribe. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?